Today, I'm going to help you get out of a language rut. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, it's Monte and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, in today's video guys, I'm going to be giving you tips on how you can get out of a language rut. Because honestly, as language learners, I feel like we all go through this, including myself, I've been through this. Where we get into a language rut, we kind of don't know where we're heading in our language, like studying and our language learning. And I've been through this with all of my languages that I'm learning with French, Italian, and Korean. And so if I go through this, I'm pretty sure many other people that are learning languages also go through this. And I want to help you guys, you know, get out of that language rut and start learning your languages. I'm going to be giving you guys some main tips to help you get out of a language rut. So let's go. Okay guys, so the first tip on getting out of a language rut that has helped me a lot is watching videos on people that actually, that are learning the same language that I am. So many of us usually, in my case, I've gotten really, I've gotten into like a language rut because I I'm just feeling confused. I kind of don't know where I'm headed in my language. I feel like I don't know what I could study. And I feel like many people go through that. It's not necessarily that they don't want to learn the language. It's just that they're feeling confused. And that's what happened to me. But something that I've noticed that really, really, really helps me get out of that language right and get more motivated to learn my languages again is watching videos. For example, I watch Shay Jordan, Anna Lynx, Ono oh, Nina, and then the list can go on and on and on. So yeah. So watching other YouTubers has not only given me has not only given me different ideas on different methods that I could use to study, but it has also really motivated me, you know, to keep learning my language because I see other people progressing and that makes me motivated to keep progressing myself, you know, and not give up on my language because I'm obviously studying that language for a reason. So yeah, guys, if you're feeling unmotivated or you're feeling you're in a language rep, watch other people learn the same language that you are learning. And trust me, guys, you will feel a lot more motivated because watching other people do the same thing that you're doing kind of like, it's like, okay, you know, if they could do it, I could do it too, you know, just like motivating one another. And I think that is one of the best ways that you could, you know, keep getting motivated and getting out of a language rut. The second tip that I have for you guys on how to get out of a language rut, it is to make a list as to why you started learning this language. And this is kind of like a weird tip, but honestly, I have tried this and it really helps me because it kind of like helps me like really really go into my brain and think about why I started learning this language. So I recommend take 10 to 15 minutes to yourself and really think about why you first started to learn, to learn this language. Like think about like what motivated you to start learning this language, what inspired you, who inspired you maybe, and ask yourself these two questions. Why did I start learning this language? And who or what motivated me to start learning this language? Those are the two questions that I would ask myself and I would actually write down the answer to. And I feel like that kind of like, you know, re-inspires you again to start learning the language. These questions will help guide you to remembering why you started, you know, this language journey and why you started learning all these languages. However, one thing that I do say is that if you don't know the answer to these questions, this might be like a completely different thing. Maybe you're just not enjoying the current language that you're studying. Maybe you kind of just started studying it or learning it because, you know, you saw someone else doing it and you thought you might have enjoyed it. But guys, if you don't like a language, it is completely fine. There are thousands of languages out there and I know that there's a perfect one for you. So if you're not enjoying, you know, actually learning a language, like it, it doesn't matter, like, how unmotivated you feel you know you're just not going to enjoy it so choose another one it is okay to not like a language it is perfectly it is normal so yeah and the third and last tip that i have for you guys for getting out of a language rut it is to make a vision board guys making a vision board for a language it is like something that I personally have never heard of other people doing, but I did this for French because there have been a couple of times that I have been feeling unmotivated with French, but that is because I got to a level where I'm like, I don't know what vocab to learn or I don't know like what grammatical aspects to learn, but you know, there's always something to learn. 
but yes i actually made a vision board for french and this is how it looks like i'll put it on the screen and i honestly really think it kind of like inspires you it honestly inspired me so i just went on pinterest and i searched up everything that has to do with french with france with paris with you know the food there you know honestly a lot of people learn the language for the language but personally i am learning french because I, my dream is to go to France one day and be able to talk to the people and communicate with them and create friendships. And I feel like that is what language learning is all about. You know, it's not just the language and being able to speak it. It's being able to like immerse yourself in like the culture, I guess, and, you know, talk to the people there. So, yeah. So for the vision boards, you know, I am currently learning French, Korean and Italian, and I learned I'm learning these languages because I honestly really love them. I love the culture. I not only love the language, but I love the culture, the people there, the food. And so I think that, you know, when creating a vision board, that is what you want to like include into your vision board. Create pictures of, you know, the places you want to go to there, you know, the food you want to eat. And I feel like doing that kind of like process also really inspires you to like, you know, okay, you know, I got this, you know, one day I want to go to this place and I'm going to be able to speak to the people there. I'm going to be able to communicate. I'm going to be able to tell them what food I want, where I want to go, even create friendships. Like that is amazing. Like imagine creating like a real friendship while you're visiting these places. I honestly think that is so amazing. So creating a vision board really helps you like envision your language a bit and so i think that is really helpful and maybe put it out as your lock screen that is a good idea you know to like keep reminding you of that language so yeah so guys those are all of my tips but i just want to include a final note here learning a language is a journey it is a long long journey because you will never 100 percent know the language i will never 100 percent know how to speak english or spanish or french or korean or italian but we will always be able to progress in it. We will always be able to, you know, become better at the language. There will be their ups and downs in language learning, just like how there isn't anything in life. We will have our ups and downs. There will be days where we will not want to study, where we will just want to forget about it, where we feel frustrated, when we don't understand something. But don't, guys. I'm telling you, if you're feeling like that, it is completely normal. I feel like we have all been through that but don't give up. That is something that I until I always tell myself and I tell you guys, do not give up on language learning. Language learning is such such a beautiful like I guess talent that people are given. Not everyone is able to learn languages and you know that is fine. They have their own like, talents or whatever. But I feel like if you're given the talent of, you know, loving languages and loving, you know, language learning and language studying, you're the best because you know, it is hard. It is honestly hard to learn something completely foreign, something that you're not used to, something that you were not like born with. But it is beautiful to be able to at the end know that, you know, you're giving it your best and that you are studying to be able to create friendships, to, you know, expand your knowledge too. Because when you learn languages, you become a lot smarter and people kind of un underestimate that. So yeah, guys. That is pretty much it for this video. I really hope you guys found some motivation, some inspiration, you know, to get out of a language rut and start learning your languages again. I really hope this motivated you. Personally, all of these tips I have used to learn, to learn, to get out of a language rut and to keep myself motivated because, you know, you're the only one there that's there for yourself. So you're the only one that can really understand how you're feeling. And if you're not motivated, it's fine. But you know, I recommend following these tips if you're feeling like that at the moment. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe and remember to comment down below any video suggestions that you guys may have for me. And guys, thank you for 2,000 subscribers. I am so incredibly grateful for all of you guys. Really, it is so amazing seeing my channel grow so fast. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys all have an amazing day. Bye, guys. Mm-hmm.